but I am back with another video and I don't even know how to start this out just because I am blown away by the first video that I posted and just literally the amount of support that that video received is insane to me. Honestly, I was not expecting anything like that posting it and watching it back I'm really mad at myself honestly just because I realized there are a lot of things that I just left out and that I wish I had said and just things that I wish I better kind of got across to you guys so that is why today I'm doing a QA. and a I swear the next video will not be me just sitting down talking in front of the camera it will actually be vlogging and most likely it's going to have Josh in it, but I promise that not every single video will be me just sitting here talking to you guys. There will actually be interesting things coming up. But I did want to do a Q&A next just because you guys left so many good questions in the comments. And along with the questions, you guys left such amazing, just like supportive, positive feedback and reactions. And I was honestly blown away at the amount of young moms that had commented. I just did not expect that at all. I don't know really what I was expecting. I think it was just going to be a few comments here and there. Possibly a lot of hate, just not how it actually turned out. I really do owe you guys like a ginormous thank you just because the entire past week that it's been up, I've been scrutinizing over the comments and just all the subscribers and just how much of it was positive. It proved how much I really want to do this channel. Like, I knew I wanted to do it before, but now I really want to do it. I just wanted to get across all of the important information before I posted anything else. And some of this is the tea, so keep watching. And, at the end, I will do a 31 week update just because it is getting hard now um, and I definitely am totally willing to share with you guys all the TMI information. Um, I really do not care about talking about the gross things with this um, just because pregnancy is interesting and there are a lot of things that go on and I am realizing in these past few weeks, oh, it's getting hard girl, but anyone who's pregnant right now can definitely relate to me so I don't mind sharing. I think the most common question I got was actually about Instagram, which I did not even think about when I posted this, but I do have an Instagram. It is private at the moment. Once I started seeing all of you guys asking about whether I had one or not, um, that's when I started thinking about it. I think that I've settled on just waiting until the babies are here so I can kind of transition my personal Instagram account into sort of a YouTube and just like baby account um but I don't want to start a new one just because I do have a lot of people um on that account that I want to keep so as soon as the babies are here I'm going to kind of start transitioning it more into a YouTube and baby update account um instead of my personal but my username is um I go on Instagram all the time I just like don't post very much. Sophie Gonzalez which is just my um the name of my YouTube account and then there's the number two at the end so Sophie Gonzalez 2. That is the Instagram so if you guys want to go request to follow me um I'll start accepting um probably a little bit before babies are here or once they're here um and I've kind of started posting things about that because I feel like that's what you'll probably want to see more than just random pictures. Next question that I think the most people are confused about is whether or not me and Josh are together. So, I know, you guys, I made it so confusing in the first video. I really do apologize. I think that with that video, I was just trying to focus on the beginning portion of things because I wanted to sh really share my story about how it was finding out that I was pregnant and just how I coped and how I got through that beginning period beginning months of me and Josh's relationship were very rough um what I did not say is that the past two months I would say or three months um have been very good we were able to just sit down talk to each other 
one weekend and we're like, we just need to focus on us for a little while and stop worrying about things that aren't going to be here for another six, seven, eight months. And let's just take things as they come instead of worrying about all of these things that will come with time. So we started just focusing on ourselves, seeing each other as much as we could, not talking about the baby stuff every second of the day, but just focusing on normal things like school and going out once around, going to the movies, going to dinner, and uh, slowly integrating like some doctor's appointments here and there, going to ultrasounds, maybe here and there looking into like cribs for the nursery and furniture for the nursery. Just he honestly is extremely excited for the babies to be here. He's here every single weekend. Um, we don't see each other normally Monday through Friday. I get him Friday nights from college and then I bring him back home. He stays here with me at my house um, Friday night, Saturday night, and then he goes back Sunday night. And so that's kind of how we've been doing things and it's been working and we're in a way better spot now. And he's actually the one who pushed me to post the first video on YouTube just because he thought a lot of people could relate because honestly, what helped him a lot was seeing other YouTubers. Ham and Fam, Zoe Hazel, Yasmin, he started watching all those channels. It was really funny. He started watching all those channels. Josh just called me, mess up the video. Are they identical? So I'll keep this short. They are identical. They are not fraternal. Um, they could tell me the very first ultrasound just because, um, they are in, like, one sack and there's a little membrane that's separating them, so they knew right away they were identical twins, and they had to be either two boys or two girls, which goes to the next thing. Are they boys or are they girls? So, before I say this, in the beginning... In my head, I was like, I need a girl, I want girls, I can relate better, I can do that. And Josh, on the other hand, was like, boys, 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 like, we need some boys up in here just because my whole family is girls. I have a younger sister, and I live with my mom, and so when he's over here, he's the only guy, so he was like, we need some boys in here, and then we found out that it was boys. I can upload a picture of the first ultrasound picture that they gave me when they, um showed it was boys. I actually did not want to know at first, so they like closed it up, wrote on it, boy or girl, handed it to my mom, it was an ultrasound picture. And then literally, I left the doctor's appointment, five minutes later in the car, I'm still in the picture looking at it because I could not wait to see it. I am honestly so excited to be the mom of two boys, extremely excited. Josh is extremely excited, so that was another big plus, and I don't know, I'm just, I'm really, really happy. So they are boys, identical. We do have their names picked out, and um, I love them. The first name was completely my decision. I wanted this name as soon as I found out that it was boys. I was like, there is no exceptions. No one can say anything to me. This is the name I'm picking for one of them. So that name is Ezekiel, but just because for short, I love the name Zeke. So his name is Ezekiel. The second name came a little bit later. My mom was looking at names online, of course, and she saw Luke and she said it out loud and she's like, that's a really good name. And I was like, it actually is a really good name, but Josh is super duper picky and he was denying every single name that I said I liked. So when I brought up Luke to him, I was like, we'll see. But he ended up really liking it, so it kind of just stuck with us and we officially decided Luke was going to be the second name we were going to use just because nothing else really compared after that. We were like, Zeke and Luke, that's what we want to do. Also give you guys a little sneak peek of something that I think is so adorable. How cute is this? How cute? It's on the door to their nursery and my mom just got it and I'm literally dying. I think it's adorable. You can obviously see that monkeys and zebras and elephants are the theme of that nursery. So it's actually so cute in there. Guys, I can't wait to do a nursery tour. Like. It's cute. So the next question is, do I currently work? And yes, I do. So I'm actually still working a lot. And that's completely been my decision the entire time. Um, I've been working for about a year now. I actually just work at McDonald's. And I feel like someone is going to hate on me for that. But they pay good. 
But that job has worked out great for me. They have been understanding of like all my needs throughout the entire pregnancy. And I work on average probably 20 hours a week now. And um, it is starting to get a little bit harder just on my legs and my feet um, standing for like that long because I do still do some eight hours and those eight hour shifts really suck. Like at the end, my cankles are unbelievable, like unbelievable. I'm planning on working all the way up until I have to stop just because I know myself, I'm gonna want a lot of time off right after the babies get here because I am going to want to be home as much as possible. I want to get in a routine before I start going back. I want to make sure that things are settled and good and they're healthy and just I'm healthy. So I'm trying to work right up until I give birth. And it's also just how I've been affording to just get as many things as possible on my own as for furniture and clothes and baby supplies and bottles and just all of that. Next question, do you plan on going to college? So that's been something that I've actually had to completely change since I found out. Um, I was actually planning on going out of state for college. Um, it's been something I kind of wanted to do for a while. When I found out that this was all happening and I really made my decision, I knew that that was not going to work anymore and I needed to just have like a loose plan of what I needed to do for college as we're already starting to plan on it like because I'm in junior year right now so we're already having all those appointments with our counselors at school talking about college and where we want to apply and everything so I do definitely want to go to college next year but I am so lucky just because where I am there are probably five colleges within 30 minutes of where I live and all of them are amazing. So my lose to do two years at a community college and then transfer two years um, to one of the other schools near here and I'm going for nursing. But we will see because now things are obviously different and I cannot tell the future but my lose plan is to go for two years community college, two years somewhere else, but it may change. I may take a break in between those two years. I really don't know. But I do want to at least get into community college next year. So I'm doing something while having babies. Someone asked how much weight I gained um, so far. And this is honestly, it's not funny, but it's funny to me. Just because um, I honestly kind of wanted to gain a lot of weight during this pregnancy. I know that sounds so weird. But I was like, this is when I can gain weight and like not feel bad about it whatsoever. So before I got pregnant, I probably weighed 105 pounds. And now I'm at like 134. So that's about... Let me do math. 15, 25, 30, about... 30 pounds give or take and it's definitely slowed down a lot in the first few months I was gaining like this like I probably gained like the first 25 pounds so quick and then the past few weeks I've definitely like leveled off I didn't really gain much at all and I just gained like one or two pounds here and there so now it's kind of up to like 134 question how am I stretch mark free at 30 weeks so I know in the last video I showed my stomach briefly um and you guys didn't really see any stretch marks there aren't really any stretch marks on my stomach except I feel them coming on sort of around my belly button just because I feel like that's the area where I just feel the most like er like stretched and um it's really itchy and dry honestly really bad at remembering and I already regret like all the nights that I have not lotioned but I will lotion as soon as I get out of the shower um, just because I feel like that's when it's the most like dry but I am NOT completely stretch mark free you, what you guys didn't see is honestly like my butt and my legs they're not bad but I definitely am seeing marks come in um definitely stretch marks and they're sort of just like on this on my butt and kind of like on my legs a little bit they're really not very bold they're sort of faint but like I can see them I can notice them um but right now they're really not too bad and I have not done anything special at all um to prevent stretch marks from happening I think it's just luck at this point 
So embarrassing slash TMI symptoms. Someone asked me this and I thought it was so funny just because um, I love that people want to know this kind of stuff. Um, but honestly, I would too if like I had a friend that was pregnant. But I'm trying to like sit here and think. I don't think I've had anything super like embarrassing happen. Like I don't really think a lot of people see too many things other than the stomach. That's why I wanted to do a 31 week update just because there are a lot of things going on. Not so much embarrassing, but things that are going on that I notice and that everyone in my house is hearing from me complain about just because I'm at the point where it's like all I want to do is complain. It freaking hurts. Alright, so 31 week update. So I'm literally 31 weeks today, the day I'm filming this. Every Monday is a new week for me, which is kind of nice. It's easy to keep track. Right now, the worst thing is I'm having a lot of um, sciatic nerve pain, and it is actually pretty bad. I probably wake up, I'm not even over-exaggerating, 15 times a night. I feel like I have to get up and walk around. It is really, really painful. I have lost so much sleep, but... I better be getting prepared. It basically runs from like my lower back literally like to my butt and down my legs and it hurts. Other than that with work I'm finding that every time after I work my legs get really swollen and poofy to the point where it's just like I feel constricted in the way that I walk just because they are so ginormous like that like walking I can feel like my fat rolls against each other like constricting like how I'm moving and how I'm sitting it's really weird feeling but it's definitely like uncomfortable not the worst but definitely just kind of adds to me being uncomfortable on top of like all of the nerve pain I would say the sciatic nerve right now is the worst but like before this it still is pretty bad but it's not as bad um has been the rib pain the rib pain for me has been the worst probably starting a few months ago but like i had like a fractured rib it hurt so bad i missed midterms and work because of it because anytime i would move it was just sharp shooting pain and i would tell my doctor and you know she would just say like take tylenol it's normal so it is difficult to hear that when you're really in pain and you kind of just hear from your doctors, like, it's normal, it's normal, and they can't really do much about it, so it was something that I just kind of had to deal with, and I'm going to show you guys my stomach again, and try to do a little bit better job, because I was told that I didn't do a good job last night. Alright guys, so, this is 31 weeks. Side view, I feel ginormous, I feel ginormous. So, when I talk about my belly button, I I hate this, but I'm going to show it. I just feel like around here, I'm starting to just stretch a lot more and maybe get some stretch marks in this area. I obviously have that fun little line. I've had that line for a long time. And um, you can kind of see, like, right here is where my ribs would hurt really intensely. And obviously the nice belly button that popped out after only like a few months. <laughs> so hopefully you guys can see it a little bit better. I feel so weird doing this. It's just crazy knowing that there's two babies inside of here. I'm definitely feeling very large at the moment. And seriously, finding clothes is the biggest struggle. I swear, that is like the biggest struggle, getting dressed in the morning. I can barely put socks on and pants on anymore, but we're going to make it through the next few weeks. I think those were the most important questions that I saw that I kind of felt like I needed to explain. But please, 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 ask any more questions that you guys have just for like a way future Q&A or just that I can answer in upcoming videos. And please see... Tell me what kind of videos you guys want to see. I already have a lot of ideas coming through my head, but um, I want to know what you guys want to see the most. I know Nursery Tour has been on there, like, majorly, so I think that's definitely going to be, um, I don't want to promise that's going to be the next one, but it's definitely going to be coming very soon. Should have put this in there sooner, so I don't know how many people are going to see this, but um, my birthday is... February 16th so it's coming up and I'm turning 17 so guys I'll no longer be 16 and pregnant I'll be 17 and pregnant 
but I spent the majority of this pregnancy 16 so I might do something I might do a video for my birthday if you guys want to see it and we're kind of thinking of maybe doing a belly cast just because the belly is humongo right now and Josh will actually be in the video for that one so you guys better stay tuned because he is he wants me in the, he wants me in a video but he has never been like really great in front of a camera so I think it's gonna be super funny seeing him in a video so you guys please stay tuned for that thank you again for like everything that you guys said on the last video all of the likes all the subscribers just coming to watch it and all of everything positive you guys said was amazing 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 seriously amazing I know I had a few comments in there that weren't so nice but you know what it's okay we all get those comments, we all get people in real life saying those type of things to us, and I know just from the amount of young moms that have commented on my video that I am definitely not the only one going through it, and you guys aren't going through it alone. I think it's just awesome, the kind of the little family that we have started going here, so please stick around, and we'll have another video coming very soon for you guys, so just tell me what you guys want to see. Ask me any questions you want because I will answer them. Video with Josh coming soon. Guys, I will see you next time. Thank you so much once again. And I'll see you next time. Bye.